Alrighty, in this one, we're going to be doing scoring through checkboxes with Notion Formulas 2.0. I'm going to be starting a new series called Three Minute Formulas, where I try to explain Notion Formulas 2.0 in three minutes or less, where I can demonstrate useful or practical formulas that you might be able to use in your day to day personal business life. So let's get started. I've just got a basic table here. When I create a new entry, you can see there's a number property, scoring property, which is giving you a main formula, and then five checkboxes, each with a number. Let's say that you want to sort of grade or assign quality metrics or numerical numbers to a set of criteria that you want to label. Let's say for this one where they prompt, right, we can sort of write that in as a criteria, so on and so forth. Were they responsive? Were they flexible. I just label them one through five for ease. It's totally up to you. But the goal here today is to use these checkboxes to create a, a scoring system that you can use with integers, decimals, you could even create like a weighted system. Basically with a checkbox, when it is filled, it means it is true, right? And when it's empty, it's false. And so a formula that we will be using today is the two number function, which basically says, let's convert this variable into a sort of number numerical output. And because checkboxes use the true and false format, we can use that true or false format to create a zero or one output where zero is false and one is true. And so we're going to be using checkboxes as a way to create a switch in which we can create scoring outputs and use a singular formula property to generate a output based on criteria that you can sort of set and weight and manipulate for your scoring system. Within the formula, as you can see, I've labeled them one through five for the ease of viewing. All we're doing here is multiplying the number in which we want to assign with two number function in which if it is checkbox, it will return one, which it would amount to one times one, right? So if I did one here, scoring goes one. So basically I've made it so that in checkbox one, it is true, we're gonna add one. If checkbox two is marked true, we're gonna add another two. So if I add this, it's gonna add a three, add three more, oh, add four more, let's add five more. So I've just labeled this for the sake of the viewers and for you to sort of understand how the switch works, but understand how powerful this is, how simple this formula really is, right? You're just multiplying a number in which you wanna to assign to the checkbox and then using it as a switch through the two number function. So we can create this very simple scoring formula within our database. And the reason why I have this number, right, is because I've conveniently added it at the bottom here. So if I add one, it's going to add to 16. And when I say we can add weighted integers, we already could do 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.2, right? And notice how if you add up all five of these numbers, you get a total of one. And so that's what I mean when we say weighted. But again, these are switches, so you can use whatever number or you could use other variables and include them and manipulate them further, right? So we just add that extra layer with that number within the scoring system in a matter of seconds. And so I think this is a very healthy place to start or go further with scoring attribute within one formula property. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've changed my mic setup a little bit, working on improving this audio quality further. Please bear with me while I try to cement this so that I don't have to worry about this. Thanks for watching. This is episode one of Three Minute Formulas and stay tuned for next one. Thanks. Bye.